in El Segundo, California at the Source Interlink Media Headquarters celebrating the upcoming launch of Shift 2 uh, which hits stores in North America on March 29th on PS3, X360 and PC. So one of the ways that Shift 2 has evolved from Shift 1 is helmet cam. So we had a cockpit view in the first shift, but helmet cam takes um, immersion in racing to a whole new level. So when you break, the camera will lurch forward and you accelerate, the camera lurches back. But one of the really cool things is that as you go into a corner, the camera will actually look into the apex of a turn very much like a driver will in real life. So you get that true to life experience of what it's like to actually be in a race car, which is very cool. One of the other really neat features in Shift 2 Unleashed is um, Autolog. It's a social gaming device where you can add friends on your Autolog wall, and if they set a certain time at an event, uh, that time will be posted. And your goal, obviously, is you want to beat your friends, is to try and better their time. So if you better their time, it's going to show up on their wall, and all of a sudden they're going back to the drawing board, trying to customize their car, trying to make it better, and then they're trying to beat you. So it just fuels this whole element of social competition, which is a ton of fun, because at the end of the day, video games are about beating your friends and having fun. So one of the other really cool elements uh, in Shift 2 Unleashed is night racing. So uh, you're totally reliant on your headlights. So if you um, crash and your headlights get broken, you can't see all that well. And it totally changes the way that you look at, uh, at a course because your sight lines are narrowed, some of the braking points that you might have used as reference points are gone. Um, so it's a lot more instinctual and a lot more on feel. So you might be driving the same track, uh, at, but at night, totally different experience. And then finally, what's very cool about Shift 2 and, and about the Shift series in general is that we leverage real drivers to help develop our game. So notably, uh, Tommy Milner, an American Le Mans racing star, uh, came in and really helped us out uh, with the physics and making sure that uh, suspensions were accurate, just from the, to the slightest detail uh, to make our game more authentic than others based on what only a driver would know. One of the really cool things that we saw that happened um, as we were testing the game is that Tommy Milner was on a wheel and he went to crash and he let go of the wheel. And we were like, well, why'd you let go? And he said, well, anytime you actually crash in real life, you let go because if you hold on to the wheel, you're going to hurt your wrist. And the game seemed so realistic to him when he was playing it that he instinctually let go, not thinking that he was actually in a game. So um, we're, we're very proud about how authentic and realistic our game is.